globalization is it a force is it a force for economic growth prosperity and democratic freedom or is it a force for environmental devastation and exploitation of the developing world is it good is it bad these questions would receive very different answers in different parts of the world also the answers would vary on different people based on different people so the simple answer to this is people in different walks of life view globalization very differently so what is globalization in theory it's a process by which information goods services ideas all flow across national borders um which means people are more connected these days information and technology is moving more faster it's moving it's moving more quicker international travel is becoming more frequent and international communication is becoming much faster so i believe globalization is for the good and it's making our lives better in many aspects like education agriculture energy let's look at few of uh, the impacts of globalization today i'll be going over trade um food and technology the first one let's look at trade goods and services that are produced in one part of the world are globally used throughout let's look at a simple example we wake up to a g alarm clock that's made in china the slipper on adidas sandals made in indonesia put on our american eagle clothes which come from mexico unplug our nokia phone made in us or taiwan and how about our toyota made in kentucky listen to coldplay from england and grab starbucks coffee with beans harvested in colombia <laughs> so basically globalization removes the barrier and borders for international trade let's look at food which is one of my favorite topics i guess <laughs> um, how many times when we plan to go out for lunch or dinner we ask ourselves what do we feel like eating today and the answer is italian. sushi <laughs> italian <laughs> chinese mexican mexican there you go just the just having the option to enjoy different food and culture is because of globalization and also the different fast food chains kfc mcdonald's pizza hut taco bell operate throughout the globe There are 119 countries in which McDonald's operates out of the 192 total countries. Next, uh, let's look at technology. People are connected today more than ever using emails, phones, um, different social networking sites. Um, so technology and internet makes people connect to each other more. you know faster quicker and globalization is what makes it happen so just to some of the advantages of globalization free movement of people free exchange of goods international division of work and what is all this resulting into higher standards of life so all this said i'm sure there are people folks in the audience that might be wondering is globalization all good and are in there any challenges for globalization and the first thing that comes to my mind is outsourcing so let's look at outsourcing today from a very different perspective there is a good chance we walk into our office monday morning and find out that our job has been moved to india or china i'm sure maybe there are a few people in the audience who might have personally experienced that or probably know someone who has experienced that a very harsh reality of globalization when there are 2.5 billion people in the asian giants india and china how could anyone's job be safe but let's look at this from a very different perspective today those 2.5 <coughs> billion people are getting richer by the day 30 years back which is not too long ago an average indian and chinese person could not afford anything beyond food and basic necessities of life today millions of indians and chinese can afford sony lcd tvs apple i apple products luxury cars um in fact <coughs> last year india and china combined bought 
19.9 million new passenger vehicles, which is 70% more than what Americans did. So what does that mean? It's an increase in a demand for consumer goods, which in turn increases the demand for machinery to make them, which in turn increases the demand for people to design them, to sell them, to market them. So what is all this leading into? More jobs, <coughs> higher sales, and bigger profits. Also, the newly rich of India and China are bringing wealth back into our doorsteps as tourism revenue. And these, com these uh, companies want to grow globally by creating more jobs. And as they invest locally, they tend to hire locally. For example, the Indian-based company, Tata Consulting Services, has about 13,000 employees who are non-Indians. Also, the Chinese appliance maker, Hire, which operates in the US, and uh, none of its employees are Chinese. So in this new economic order, our job might be lost to Indian and Chinese workers, but the key thing to remember is that they're going to give it right back. To conclude, I would like to say that globalization is an economical tidal wave that is sweeping the world. It cannot be stopped. There might be winners and losers. The key challenge for every country, for every individual, is to find a healthy balance between preserving the sense of home, community, culture, and still being able to open up to the globalized system. So what do we do from our end? We understand the impacts. We work towards solving any problems that we could see with globalization. And, um, and also um, work towards the work towards solving any problems of globalization and uh, you know, find a healthy balance again between you know, the culture and still being able to be in the globalized system. So I believe globalization is definitely a game. It's here to stay and it's making our world a better place to live in. Very uh, confident speaking publicly, something that scares the hell out of me. <laughs> You're kidding. I'm a kidding. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> I see lunch today because I didn't want too many things going on in my tummy already. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, You're not the lone one. You're not the lone one. Okay. Uh, so, I, I mean, overall, I think I did okay. Well, I liked your voice. You remind me of uh, Ambas Moya. The way you used to work at the World Bank. Uh, so it was really nice. And I like your PowerPoint presentation. Thank you. Excellent job. I mean, I was just, you made a hard topic not only interesting, but you were just, you were a very interesting presenter. And I would, you knew, either you practiced for hours and hours on end. Okay, because you didn't miss a beat, and it was just, it was great. You did a fabulous job. Thank you. I like the presentation, Maddie, because the way you navigated, like, it started with food and technology, mm -hmm. and the advantages of globalization, and then immediately actually put a question, like, what are the consequences, like, disadvantages of the globalization? So I like your presentation. You tied the disadvantages to advantages, and then finally concluded it's good for the economy. It's mm -hmm. a good presentation. I was very impressed at how knowledgeable you were uh, of the content, and you made a controversial topic so kind of neutral and allows both sides to kind of understand really what globalization is and how it benefits um, both sides. So I think that's a really awesome way of kind of allowing us to see that. So that's a good job, really good. Thank you. Thank you. Presentation. That's kind of what I was going to say. You put a lot of data up there that yeah. wasn't even on your PowerPoint. So for you to say you're not used to presenting, that, that was very well done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.